Okay, so there are a few ways in order to test if the source code has been included in your Java file. The first thing you'll need to do to make sure it's supposed to be included is to right click on the, on the uh, project, go to properties, then go to packaging, and you have to make sure this box here that says exclude from jar file is completely blank. And then push OK. After you clean and build the project, go to your files tab, and then click on your project folder to expand it. Open the dist folder, then open the uh, jar file, and open the folder with the same name as the project. And you'll see there's a dot class and a dot java. The dot class should be there either way. Dot java is your source code, so that is what you want to see. Now there's another way of doing it where you can go in command prompt. And so what I've done is I've taken my distributable out of the dist folder over here and I paste it to my C drive. And so what I'm going to do is first before I do anything I have to make sure my environment variables work properly. So go start and on Windows 10 you can just type in start typing environment and you'll see edit system and environment variables. On other versions of Windows you'll have to navigate to the control panel to find this. And so you open that, that up and go to the bottom you'll see environment variables. This thing that says path here you can edit that and that needs to be set to your Java distributable bin basically or your, your Java JDK bin I should say and so you just you can browse to find it and it might be in a different folder for you depending on where you installed Java when you originally installed it and so you just push OK and exit out of that after you have that changed then you can right click on the start menu run command prompt I prefer to do it in admin mode and so then you can navigate to whatever drive you have uh, your jar file in. For me, it's the C drive now. CD for change directory. And then you'll just type in jar-tf and then the name of your file. And you can see it reads out manually and you can see the same thing, the dot class and the dot java. Then there is one last way, which you might not know about. Just go to your distributable, or your dist folder, right click on your jar file, and you have to have 7-zip installed, but m most people have either 7-zip or some big zip uh, program that can open a lot more files than you might think it can. Open it, and you can see I can do the same thing. Navigate the folder, you can see the .class, and you can see the .java. Hope this helps.